Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis episode 4 for the series here and I've gone ahead and I've done a few things off camera here and there not a whole lot I didn't want to jump too far ahead of you guys but I did want to kind of keep the game moving forward a little bit uh, for the days that I couldn't record it and keep checking on the colony so I let money build up a lot I wanted to make sure we got the money nice and high because there's a couple different things I want to do this episode uh, to really help us progress I also use some uh, Genesis points, but I have been watching ads when I get the time to get some more. And so if we actually take a look here at the summer, you can see that I've let the heat find a really nice medium. And I've actually turned off the heat clusters. So heat right now is like absolutely perfect almost. It's very close. So we're just going to leave it right at that. And uh, currently working on pressure now, I usually, and everybody does it a little bit differently, but the way I like to play the game is I usually try to work my way down the list a little bit of a time at a time and focus on certain things. So I'll focus on pressure and then once I get pressure right where I want it, I'll turn it off. Then I'll focus on oxygen and then what I'll do is I'll start building facilities to kind of balance everything. But that's how I usually do it. And you'll see how handy that is. Um, because it doesn't overcomplicate things and you don't really have to go nuts building certain things that speed it up as long as you're patient. So we'll just kind of play it along and you'll see how that goes for that. And then going over and looking at our, mo our money here, we've got to put some more mines up. We've only got one mine running. Uh, I do have a mining revenue for 46 minutes at 200%. So I'm letting that go along. And we've got some bonus income there for the great holographer. But uh, yeah, so the first thing we're going to do actually is we're going to spend our culture point we've got here. I'm actually going to spend it on our independence because that's very important that we try to get that as quick as we can. And then we're going to go into research here and we're going to want to start researching something else. Pressure is what I'm working on. So getting something for pressure is not too bad. I do like to have the sequestration plant every now and again because sometimes you got to cut back on the pressure. I find that pressure tends to somewhat outrun you from time to time. But let's actually work on the cloud cedar because we're going to be working on water here soon. So we'll get that going. Now going into colonies. We've got hope at 450 pop. We're going to want to up that some more. And then we've got to deal with the outposts. But if we actually click on hope, you can see I've got the heating cluster turned off. And I've only got the thermal dust producing pressure. We're going to go ahead and actually upgrade that. Try to get the plus six pressure. And then I've got the two hab units here. And we'll actually go ahead and upgrade both hab units. And I'm taking this nice and slow. You know, I'm not, I'm not rushing anything. I know that um, a lot of people do jump in. They rush things pretty quickly. But I, I kind of try to just do a little bit at a time. Because playing, especially playing the game on my mobile device, I've learned very quickly that it's easy to sometimes let everything outrun you. Because uh, you might have something producing like, you know, pumping out 80 oxygen and taking away 20 water. And then you don't log on for a day. And you come back and find out your world's barren. And now there's, uh, it's over oxygenated. So... But yeah. During a routine inspection of the Hope Hab unit, engineers discovered several potential disaster, disastrous safety violations, which have led them to downgrade its rating from level. From, oh, dang. So that sucks. We actually went back down to level three. <clears throat> but they're both upgrading anyway, so we'll just let them. Keep upgrading. All right, and now let's go to the outpost. So first, we're gonna go to Smooth Star or Smooth Scar. We gotta add some more mines because the ones that we had running were uh, they ran out. So what do we got actually? Let's see if we can pick up silver. Let's go do that first. I know because we got plenty of money that we can research silver. I like to kind of rush it a little bit quicker to these fat, these more money producing ones. Um. Oh, our lab's already doing the cloud cedar. Six Genesis points. Okay, so we'll just, we won't worry about it. We'll get that later. I don't want to spend those Genesis points on that. I like to save the Genesis points for um, income. And only rushing research if I need to. So, yeah, we just won't worry about it. We'll get smooth scar. We'll just put a couple more carbon and iron mines. Let's see if we can find some more iron around here. So you can see there's actually a bunch of iron all over the place, which is great. We'll see if we can get some really good ones. That's a great one. Nice. Yep, that's really good. And I've got the 200% increase for mining revenue, so. Now you can, and I've mentioned this before, but obviously you can scan around like this. But I find if you just lower it all the way and just go like this, you'll eventually see. We saw a spike right there. 
You, I just feel like you can find them easier if you just drag it and move it around real quick. That's been my opinion of doing it. I find that this way is really actually faster. See, because we had a huge... It's a pretty good spike right there. All right, nice. That's a lot of uh, money. And I want to get a second outpost up, but let's see. So that's all right. We can probably build that last one. 500,000, those a lot, but these will all run for about three days. And if we want to do, we can do some carbon. Um, we know there's going to be a ton of carbon all over because it's very common. It doesn't produce a lot of income, but it is uh, better than nothing. If you've got the money to spend to set the mines up. But carbon's really only worth it if you get it, you know, like really high like that. That was actually a really good carbon. If I can get one more really good carbon like that, I'll be happy. That's pretty good. Let's see, it was better. Right about there's as good as it gets. Okay, perfect. So that's almost 10,000 per minute. Uh, I think that's counting the 200% increase. Yep. All right, beautiful. And then I wanted to get another outpost up. So let's go ahead and find another outpost. It's 2 million. So it's kind of pricey. Oh, where do we want to put this next outpost? Actually considered too close, huh? Nine kilometers is pretty good though. Uh, stag flats, so we'll build that. And we can see if we can find some iron here. I was actually gonna try to get some silver, but. Ooh, there was a really big spike somewhere here. Yeah, we can actually... See, it's so generalized, though. It just doesn't... You know, if you're looking for, like, really big... Like, that's a really good one. And 100,000 is cheap. It's 1,500. Let's see if we can find a better one. They get more expensive as you build them on the same area, so... You generally want to build your best one. That's a really good mine. Almost 2,000. And this will make sure we have lots of income when I log back on later. To record and build some more. That's it though. Only two really good spots. There's a spot right here that's okay. Right there. We can see if there's any carbon. We know there'll probably be some good carbon. And then there might be some really... That's awesome. Yeah, that's really good. And then there might be some really good, uh, you know, silver and some other metals around here that we haven't even found yet. I do like trying to focus on income early on. Okay, that'll be all I build there. Perfect. And those are actually all well spaced out. So if I find some silver or something, I can still build mines there. So that's all that there. So we got... Our colony upgrading and everything. Is there anything else? I was working on getting pressure up. I am upgrading this. I could build another one. Atmogen Suites plus 10 oxygen. So this will give us actually, this will start getting our oxygen going, which we need to work on both pressure and oxygen. So this is a pretty good investment. We'll go ahead and build that as well. Giving us a lot of pressure and oxygen. Then we can just disable it and demolish it. Demolish it once we get the pressure up. But I got to make sure I watch because that, that'll be a lot of pressure coming in. So this will this will even out pretty quickly. But then we'll start getting oxygen going once we've got this set. And then after oxygen's nice and up there, we'll start working on water too. And we've already got a little bit of water from releasing an aquifer. Plus the frozen and ice. But yeah, we'll have to get more of that. 
plus, yeah, plus the ice there freezing. But there's the planet there. Nice. So we can see we've actually got a little bit of an atmosphere going. Now that we've increased pressure, we're starting to see some clouds on the planet. We don't see a whole lot else. We don't really see any water yet. Um, it is nice and warm, though. I think the ice caps would have melted. Yep. So there is some water where the, the ice caps had melted from the increase in temperature. But aside from that, yeah, we'll hopefully start seeing, uh, I think over the next few episodes, we'll see the uh, atmosphere really build up. So we'll start seeing some clouds, some storms and stuff forming here on the uh, planet. And then after that, we're going to probably start seeing um, the oxygen will roll in and maybe we'll start seeing some green and stuff like that. A wealthy donor is interested in offering to upgrade our level three hab unit to a level five for free and or four for free. In return, she is hoping for a slight change in her economic policies towards a more industrial model. Should we accept this offer? Plus five percent industrial. Sure. Take a look at that real quick. Or it's actually going to be under our culture. Um, so a little bit more construction speed and less biomass growth. That's okay for me, actually. I'm okay with that. All right. So with that being said, that's the end of this episode. I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.